There's something special about having a clean and minimal dual display and now more than ever, a productive workspace is needed to not only get things done, but to stay motivated and inspired as we've spent more and more time at home. First off, I like to say that I'm very grateful and blessed to have the opportunity to share my setup. This has been a work in progress for a while, so by no means did I build this setup in one day. It's important to figure out what setup works best for you, otherwise you'll spend money on displays and a setup that doesn't maximize your productivity. Since I'll be working from home for the foreseeable future, I thought it'd be best to go with a dual display setup that's similar to my desk setup in office. I chose two Dell U2017D monitors for my dual display. I didn't get both monitors at the same time, but I knew that Dell's UltraSharp series of monitors are high quality and work seamlessly together in a multi-monitor setup. I did consider getting an ultra-wide monitor and having that as my main display, but I realized that a dual display is better for someone who codes like myself on a regular basis. So if need be, I can rotate my monitor 90 degrees to portrait mode, which makes reading longer program files easier. These monitors offer a fully adjustable pivot, tilt, and swivel, so I figured it's a no-brainer to go with these ultra-sharp displays for my setup. Also 27 inches with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 at 60 hertz gives me more than enough screen real estate while programming and color accuracy and clarity while video editing. What stood out to me the most is the build and physical design with minimal branding, reducing distraction. The Infinity Edge makes them practically bezel-less with a near seamless dual display experience. The top left and right borders measure at 7.3 millimeters and bottom border measuring at a little over 8 millimeters. The Dell U2717D monitors did come with a stand that is quite nice and sturdy, but I decided to replace the stand with the dual monitor desk mount made by Inland. This mount is specially designed to free up space, which allows for greater productivity and organization, which is something I value because my desk is only 47 inches long and 23 inches wide. The black color pairs well with the white desktop and Dell ultra sharp monitors, so it seamlessly integrates into my setup. The heavy duty C-clamp has made adjusting the monitors a lot easier. Actually, I did use the Vivo monitor mount for a single display and although this mount is more expensive, it's much more sturdier and is much easier to build and break down. The maximum turning rate is 180 degrees to the left and to the right. The turning rate is important if you want to maximize your monitor's swivel versatility. The arms do extend to the back, so you'll want to pull your desk out so they don't scratch your wall. Overall, I'm satisfied with this dual monitor mount. It holds both monitors in place very well. The J5 Create USB 3.1 adapter is what I'm currently using to connect the display to my Dell XPS 15. This is a 7.9 inch male to dual HDMI female multi-monitor adapter. I know there are many different ways to connect dual monitors to a computer or a laptop, but I found this the most simple way that's fast and portable, along with being durable and compatible with Windows and Mac. Since my desk isn't very large, I only have the basic peripherals, a couple of fake IKEA plants, a desk lamp, and a desk pad to prevent chipping. Peripherals of choice are the Logitech MX Master 3 and Logitech MX Keys. This mouse and keyboard pair perfectly together. Well, they were designed that way. Supporting my palms and wrists is the MX Palm Rest, which has made a huge difference in comfortability and performance. So that's my dual monitor desk setup. I know it's a bit minimal and bare bones, but it's easily customizable to whatever my liking is at the time. And I plan on making upgrades to the desktop along with adding some drawers and speakers. As always, thank you for watching this video. Comment down below some of your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all. Or if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy and have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.